Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot from Minecraft Java Edition 1.13 has been released. The update Aquatic is coming ever closer. Here is Minecraft Snapshot 18W21A. My name is Sliced Lime. let me guide you on a tour through all of the changes and new things in this version. Let's start with dolphins. They will now help you find treasures, feed them fish, and they will try to guide you towards the treasure, just follow along with them. There were a couple of bugs with dolphins that have also been fixed in this version. Dolphins were able to wear armor even though it wouldn't show, and that's no longer the case. And when they played with an item, they would become permanent citizens of the world and would never despawn. That's also fixed in this version. There's also a fix for fish. Salmon and tropical fish hitboxes were wrong when they were on land. And one final fix for mobs, mobs did not suffocate if they had their heads inside of double slabs that's fixed in this snapshot. There are item changes in this one as well. Some item names that previously had colors had lost their colors and instead of just fixing that, a whole new color scheme has been introduced. Tools and weapon attributes will have green colors, beacons and conduits are blue, nether stars, totems of undying, dragon's breath, mob and player heads, Bounce of Experience, Elytra Wings, and Hearts of the Sea are now yellow, and there's a class of purple blocks that are Command Blocks, Structure Blocks, and Dragon Eggs. In addition to that, there is a bunch of gameplay fixes as well. If you were in spectator mode and you dove into the water, you would still hear the diving sound that's fixed in this version. A couple of spawning things, Dispenser would use spawn eggs to spawn mobs and they would spawn it too high. And if you were using a spawn egg by yourself, and you spawned a mob on top of a liquid, then that mob would spawn too high up as well. Pushing a waterlogged block with a piston will now make that block lose its waterlogged state. If you had a seagrass and you placed it in flowing water, then you would generate a water source. That's fixed in this version. Now this is also the case for bone meal, so if you use a bone meal to place sea plants in flowing water, that would do the same. In grass and mycelium blocks in the previous snapshot, they would spread to underwater dirt blocks, and that's no longer the case. A whole bunch of graphics fixes in this version as well. If you opened your world to LAN players and somebody connected to your world, then your skin would not be visible to other players. That's fixed in this version. Finally, that's been bothering me for a long time when making these snapshot videos, let me tell you that. Armor slot icons were backwards in the previous snapshot, that's fixed in this one. And item shading inside item frames didn't account for which direction the item frame was in, that's also fixed. The way entities moved their heads didn't interpolate on the yaw axis. What that means is that when a mob moved its head to look at something, it would snap into place rather than smoothly look around. Carpets and stained glass panes didn't have the correct colors on the maps. And the fence top was missing some texture when it was used below fence gates. World upgrade fixes in this version. If you upgraded a world from Minecraft 1.6.4, then it would destroy the world and spam errors to the log file that's fixed. If you opened any old world in the previous snapshots, then structures from the previous version wouldn't properly regenerate. And jungle temple redstone wires generated without being connected that's also fixed in this version. A new setting in this version, it's called mouse wheel sensitivity inside of options.txt. Default value for this is 1.0 and changing it will affect the scroll speed of your hotbar. And finally a couple of command fixes, spread players would show the wrong error message or large numbers in the error message when no entities were spread and placing a wall using slash set block without specifying any block state would produce an invisible wall. All of these bug fixes are leading us ever closer to update Aquatic and to a first pre-release, but these are still snapshots development versions that are expected to be unstable and can crash your game or even corrupt your world. If you want to try it, do it on a test world, or keep a backup of your world. And with that said, if you do want to try it, head into your Minecraft launcher, go to the Launch Options tab and enable snapshots in there. Read the message and click OK, then head back to the News tab, where now you'll have a latest snapshot profile in the drop-down box next to the play button. Select that and start the game, and now you'll be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, 18W21A. This has been Sliced Lime with an update of the latest snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.13. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.